What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. This is a brand new challenge guys. We are doing the one to seven day stock market challenge. We're going to try to see how much money we can make within the next week if I invested $10,000 into the stock market. So if you didn't see my part one video, you might be wondering, Ish, Ish where, where is, is the part, part one, video? one video? It's not on this channel. It's actually on my second channel. The results and the feedback was so good from the first video, I decided to put this on my main channel. So if you click up here somewhere, you can definitely watch the first part of the video series and check out my positions that day and that time. Since then, a lot happened, a lot of changed. So this is part two of the stock market challenge. I'm going to say part one of the thumbnail because on this channel, technically, this is the first video. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for clicking. So you might be wondering, who am I and how do I have $10,000? Who am I? So I run a couple of businesses. First and foremost, I run a social media marketing business that's been able to see six figures within the first couple of months of its development, which is really, really awesome. This whole COVID thing was amazing for me. RIP all the people that died, but this COVID thing was really, really cool and uh, definitely, definitely gave me some time to work on my brands and work on my company. And yeah, man, I made six figures. That's dope. Nice. Um, but anyways, guys, so I have a lot of money. I have a lot of money. It's cash flowing. My companies are cash flowing. I'd actually reinvested into a couple of other companies as well. And all my companies are doing really, really well. So I'm bringing in a lot of money. So I decided to, uh, you know, become one of those little YouTubers that, you know, throw $10,000 to see what happens. So we are in the stock market today, guys. And I'm going to show you guys the results of what I've been able to make within the last uh, day and how I've been able to move, what have I been able to do. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's dive into the old Robinhood app and see what happened on day two. So as you guys can see, I'm up $764 on the day, which is 15,000. You might be wondering, Ish, what the heck? I thought you said 10,000, 10,000. Yes, 10,000 yesterday. I'm at $15,000 today, but you might also be wondering, Ish, 763 plus 10,000 isn't 15,000. I know that, okay? <laughs> I've uh, actually put in some other money as well because I, got, I found some really good positions that I really wanted to get into. So I did put some money in and the results you know, speak for themselves. So we're gonna check out the Robin Hood. We're gonna see what positions I'm in right now and how they've been doing and what's the game plan going into tomorrow. So today has been pretty, pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So let's start with, uh, okay, so these are my stocks. These are my stocks for right now. I have two that are pretty much, you know, useless. Uh, PSEC is my, you know, referral stock that I got for free pretty much. And then Nikola is that one stock that I, I bought in at 100 and it blew up to like freaking 18. And now it's at 29. So, I mean, I just have that for fun at that point. I lost like $500 on it. So it's whatever. So those two stocks don't count. Okay. I made my money back off those, but uh, Microsoft is a long-term stock that I've been holding for a while now, maybe a couple months. Um, I have a position of $500 in it. As you can see, I'm down negative 3%. So this stock really doesn't count for me. It's not really a stock that I use on a daily basis. I'm just waiting for it to go back up so I could go ahead and lock in my profit. Um, so Amazon is the same thing, held it long-term, didn't really care about it. So, but now this is where my positions start. I have a Snapchat uh, stock at $1,000. I invested into it and now I'm up 5%, which is $50. So that's my first position and I'm, it's actually a really good position and I'm winning on this position. It's been looking really, really well. So it's up actually 2% on the day as well, which is really good. And Alibaba. So Alibaba is another position that I've been holding. So I have about $3,000 invested into Alibaba. I'm up 3.8% on it. So I'm up $114 off this stock alone. As you can see, it was a red day. It was pretty stagnant, but I've still been able to come up because I bought at the dip and now it's just jumping up. So this is my other stock that I'm actually, you know, working on and it's been looking really, really promising for Alibaba. I'm going to hold maybe for a couple more days and to see what it does like throughout later this week, maybe on Wednesday, I'll probably sell or something like that. But it's been looking pretty well. Uh, Delta Airlines is another stock that I think is going to, uh, you know, increase in value long term right now. I don't think it's a really good smart play, even though it's up 5% on the day. It could be up 100% in the next three months. But like I said, this is only seven day challenge. So I'm trying to, you know, maximize my profits where I can. And you will see that in the next few stocks. So Delta Airlines is a really dope stock. 4.4% on the day. I'm up. Um, I was actually negative on this stock for a couple of days, but now it's just popping back off. So I'm up 6% on the day, but in total return, I'm only up $40 because I was actually negative, uh, you know, a couple of percent. So yeah, it's popping off again. And uh, hopefully, you know, we could lock in some profits this week. 
Uh, Lordstown Motor. Now here comes the juicy fun stuff. Lordstown Motor is an EV company, an electric vehicle company that's been, you know, really, really hot recently. Tesla just killing it right now. I sold my position of Tesla at 494. It's right now at 529, bro. I'm so pissed, but it is what it is because I had like $6,000 position on there and my buy, my strike price was like around 419, which is crazy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, so, sad, but I still made a couple thousand off that. So, you know, who, boo hoo. Anyways, guys, Lordtown Motor uh, ticker symbol ride has been really, really dope for me. 8% on the day alone. And as you can see, guys, I'm up 7.27% on the stock itself. So I invested only like uh, $1,500 into the stock, bought 54 shares, and now I'm up $109. So this is this is a position that entered this morning, and now it's, just, uh, it's after hours. So, you know, it's been really, really good. Um, Workhorse, another fire stock that I got into today, up 12% on the day, guys. That's, that's absurd. So I'm up, uh, you know, 9.5%. On the stock itself, $142. So this is another stock that I really got into at a good spot. A good spot. I'm probably gonna sell this position very soon because you know that's not really often that you could you know uh, take your 10% and leave. So yeah, that's really awesome. And then this is my baby, my love, my life. Xping guys, I put in $3,500 into Xping. Look at the results for just one day, guys. One day I put in for Xping. I bought in at $63. You can see it right there. And now I'm at currently $74.59. And this stock's been such a freaking winner for me. It's been insane. $622 just on the day. As you can see, it says today's return, $622, and total return on $622. So it's been killing for me. And yeah, man, so that's that's all the stocks that I have for the the, uh, the day. Been really, really dope. As you can see, I'm up 765 on the day itself. If you go to the week, I'm up about $2,000. If you go about the month, I'm up about $2,700. Uh, if you go to the three month, uh, you know, this is where I was, you know, really, really diversified and not really seeing a lot of good results. And then, yeah, this is where, you know, I could you could see my total history of what I've been investing. I only invested, I started investing in June. And it's currently, I think, uh, November. So, I mean, it's been pretty, pretty, you know, uh, stagnant first couple months. And then it just dropped because I invested into Nikola at $99, which is so stupid. And uh, yeah, man, I just, I've been riding the wave, stock, stock crash, uh, you know, riding the stock crashes, just holding, holding, holding. And now, as you can see, guys, it's been crazy over the past few uh, weeks. I've just been popping off in terms of the stock market. So I made this video. I'm going to be documenting my experience and, you know, uh, how I, you know, been make, making my money since so many of you guys are so eager to learn. So tomorrow I'm going to be giving you guys an update on what stocks I'm going to be investing into tomorrow morning. And by the after hours, I'm going to be giving you guys updates. So I hope you guys like this little series that I'm doing. Hopefully we could get to 20K. Is that too much to ask for? I mean, I'm going to try to, but if I can double my money, that's insane, guys. So, I mean, I hope you guys uh, like this video. I hope you guys like this little video series that I've been making. Uh, like I said, okay, another little, you know, disclaimer. I, if you have $10,000, you know, saved up and that's your life savings, please do not invest into the stock market. I hate when a lot of people make it too good to be true. These are numbers that I've usually seen in my whole one year chart. I dropped thousands of dollars and I was okay with that because I only put in as much as I was comfortable to lose. So that $10,000 you see in there, I can have it gone in the snap of a finger and I wouldn't be stressed out. I wouldn't be sad. Of course, I'll be, you know, a little concerned. But, you know, at the end of the day, I have only about five to seven percent of my income on my stock market portfolio. I have other assets. I have other, you know, different type of uh, income streams. And I have a lot more money that I could, you know, use to like do things. So that's this $10,000 that you've seen 15 now is uh, you know only a minuscule amount of my actual income. So don't think that it's very easy to get in the stock market. You could lose a lot of money and I do not trade options. Another thing that you guys need to understand that uh, options trading is a whole other game that other people will be teaching, but I'm not gonna be doing options trading. I'm just gonna buy a big positions and hold it, make a couple percent and then bounce because options trading has an expiry date and uh, the expiry date, if you don't you know hit your you know target by the exp uh, expiration date, you're pretty much going to lose every single dollar you invested into, you know, your options and options are very, very expensive. So you could, you know, it, it probably costs like 500 to a thousand dollars just for one options trade. And if you guys are not familiar with options, that's completely okay. This is not a video for options, but just giving you guys a little disclaimer. I hope you guys like this series. I'm very excited to see where it picks off 
And yeah, guys, I really appreciate your time. And let's get it. Day three tomorrow. I'll see you there. I got a stack of me. She throw it back on me. Sometimes I gotta go get on the road. I know I'm balling. This money keep calling. I'm 23. You know I feel like the go. Fly to Miami and going me semi. You know that I never made love on a boat. I know that you doubted me, but you're not proud of me. I don't not care. You still hate on the low. I come from bottom. I had a little drink. So you know that I chased it. Two years later, I called my mom on the phone and told her we made it. Invest my money. Gotta be smart, yeah, I gotta just save it